Hi, welcome. We have the website archedmerged.com. The D for documentation or uh, a learning platform that's online. We're going to make a specific ISO for arched, arch merged. And that the idea is then to strip the ISO of arch merge and then just get rid of everything else and just keep the basics. So this is a very, very slim, I think less than 900 megabytes of ISO. You know the Calamaris um, tool to install everything. So let's go ahead like so. So from now on, we're talking about our merge with a D. D is becoming the, the stripped version of the arch merge is for the learning. It's for phase two and phase three, where we build upon this system and we install XFCE, Openbox i3. And then in phase three, let's try GNOME, let's try Cinnamon, let's try Budgie, let's have fun. Okay, but now let's install this first. So we have this base system that's being installed. We have um, Calamares that's doing its job. It's very, very neat. It's very fast. It's easy. And uh, there are no icons, no themes, almost no software, no desktops. So you have to choose what you want to install. And I guess you'll learn a lot that way, but you'll also appreciate all the effort that's gone into Arch Merge. Because you'll see that installing it from scratch, then everything needs still needs to be tuned. Um, you have to think about lots of things, printers, Bluetooth, anything. We will have Ethernet and wireless. I've um, took the liberty to install lots of video drivers and lots of internet and network and wireless cards. So let's hope that's um, not an issue for uh, uh, for us. But um, mostly it will be very barren. You will end up in a black screen. There will be no graphical greeter or anything of the sort. Now, I don't know why this thing doesn't stop anything, so that doesn't restart anything at all. So we really need to go, sorry, left mouse click, we really need to go here, restart. Yeah, if anybody can help me with that little uh, tick there, doesn't want to reboot. So this is now booting from the hard disk. And that's another thing we stuck with in Arch. This firmware bug, if anybody knows a solution for that, would be great. So that's it. We're there. So we have now a system which has no desktop environment with no applications, no icons, no themes. And it's up to you to decide, oh, well, why not XFCE or why not Openbox, etc. So it's starting from here that we're going to build up everything again. All right. That's the idea. And this is our situation so far.